is going on guys and welcome to the channel. It's James here from How To Games bringing you another 100% walkthrough video. In today's video I'm going to do a walkthrough of the third boss in Mulaka, Warura Rasali. So let's get started. So this boss can be quite confusing to understand of what needs to be done, but uh, in the beginning here you have to awaken the uh, beast here, so you want to awaken Rasali. So as you see there I hit the uh, rock formation there and that awakens the boss. Now this boss is very confusing of what needs to be done. To defeat him, uh, it took me several uh, several hours to figure out what exactly needs to be done. But first off, you want to hit those arms, and as you can see there, once you hit those arms, this will release a nice little breeze, so you can climb up to the ledges. So you want to do that, hit the next arm, so that you can make it to the next platforms. And you just continue on all the way up until you hit the top platforms. And you will see here very shortly once I get up to this last platform. Now that you have reached the top platform, you will see that the mouths on the beast there or uh, the boss, you just want to throw spears at them. And that is what you need to do to defeat the first phase of this boss. So actually this boss is quite easy once you understand what needs to be done but getting to that understanding of what needs to be done to defeat him is quite confusing. So I have just two left here and there we go. We have completed the first phase of this boss battle. Now we have to go all the way back down and awaken the beast once again. So it'll take multiple uh, attacks here to finally awaken him. And there we go. Now there is a little bit more variation. The arms are a lot more aggressive in the second phase of the boss. And he also calls upon those um, upon uh, enemy types to attack you. So you basically want to do the same thing that you did uh, earlier. You want to hit the arms and basically get all the way to the top. You can uh, attack some of the uh, mouths on Rosali as you go up, but I find that it's easier to go all the way up to the top and work your way back down. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Uh, make sure that I don't get hit by any of the enemies and try to make my way up to the top. You can also, it might be easier as well, as you see there, I clear out or I hit some of the mouse as they dispel some of the enemies. So it would be easier to just go and uh, dispose of them when you're on the platform and it will make things easier on you. So we have about six, six more spots to hit. So I'll make my way over to the other side of the boss. Continue on here. So, like I said earlier, quite easy to defeat this boss once you have a full understanding of what needs to be done. Um, the hardest part is understanding how to awaken the beast, how to defeat the beast, um, but it's quite easy once, once you see here, I've already defeated him and 
I don't even think I took one third of my health. So there you have it. That is how to defeat the third boss in Mulaka. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in another 100% walkthrough video. Oh. Mm.